Hello and welcome to the second episode of Talk to Ringside Live, brought to you by Ringside Boxing Australia. My name is Ahmed and I am the CEO of Ringside Boxing Australia. During our discussion today, we will be discussing the differences between synthetic boxing gloves and leather boxing gloves. Now we'll start off with our synthetic boxing gloves. Synthetic boxing gloves are generally used by the newcomers to the sport or your general fitness person. Synthetic boxing gloves have a few advantages and disadvantages. Let's start off with the advantages. First of all, they're much more cost efficient and effective. Now if I'm a newcomer to, to the sport of boxing and I want to purchase a pair of gloves, um, I, I would go down to my local fight store or jump online and look for a pair of boxing gloves that's going to serve my purpose because I'm entering a new sport that I basically haven't tried before so I don't want to go out there and spend 100 to 200 dollars on a pair of gloves so that's the first advantage the second advantage is basically they're much easier to clean and keep looking good for much 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 longer uh, boxing gloves tend to get very dirty in the gym, you get very sweaty, uh, so it's very important that we, we constantly are uh, airing out our gloves, keeping them clean and looking good. Some of the disadvantages are basically, disadvantage number one would be the durability of the glove. Because you're purchasing an entry level glove, the glove is designed to basically accommodate your general fitness needs. Now when you when you use that glove the first thing that tends to go is your knuckle protection. So they're not going to be as durable as your leather boxing gloves that you're paying hundreds, hundreds of dollars for. The second disadvantage would be the, uh, the moisture building up in the actual glove. Uh, synthetic boxing gloves don't have the best ventilation Therefore, moisture doesn't release as easily, which can cause your hand to basically heating up while training, um, which can cause you some, some uncomfort. So that's one common issue that we tend to come across hearing uh, and dealing with different people from the boxing world, hence why they decide to purchase leather boxing gloves. Now, down to the leather boxing glove. Leather boxing gloves are basically used by your, by your professional boxer, your amateur boxer, your boxing enthusiast who's going to be training four to five times a week. So they need something that's going to last. They're not going to be able to afford a new pair of gloves every so, every so often. They need something that's going to last them a while. Some of the advantages of your leather boxing gloves are, number one, they're much more, much more durable right so your padding the outside of the glove is going to it's going to last you much 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 longer uh, advantage number two each is they're much much more breathable uh, so as we discussed earlier with your synthetic boxing gloves some of the common issues is we have people who basically say oh my hands heating up or oh, my hands feel uncomfortable now the leather boxing glove, because it's a more premium glove, it's more expensive, there's a much better ventilation system which allows the moisture to be released much, much easier, therefore allowing your hands to loosen up, free up, and that pain or the, the heat that you feel on your hands tends to go away. A small example of the ventilation that I've been, I've been discussing is, look, on the inside of this glove, basically in there, that's the, that's the sort of ventilation that you basically would see on a more premium expensive glove just just to give you an example now some of the disadvantages of a leather boxing gloves now not all people would call them disadvantages it could be money well invested number one is they're much more expensive uh, a good leather boxing glove could range from 100 to 200 sometimes even three or four hundred dollars basically depending on the brand you're, you're going to purchase. Another one is when it comes to cleaning and maintaining the glove, 
you're going to have to spend a bit more on purchasing uh, different leather oils that basically remove stains and keep that shine on, on, on the actual glove. What tends to happen because all the punching and so on, sometimes you might get some stains or wrinkle in, in the actual leather. So there's basically um, certain liquids that you can put on the actual leather and it keeps, the, it keeps it nice and smooth and gets rid of wrinkles and so on. So to sum it all up, it really is a, a personal preference. Um, if you're willing to purchase a pair of leather gloves from the beginning, then feel free to go ahead and do that. Some people are not willing to do so. Some people want to basically start off with an entry level glove, work their way up, and then after a, a decent period of time, they go out there and they buy their pair of leather gloves. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any uh, comments, recommendations, topics, questions that you'd like us to discuss moving forward, please feel free to uh, post them in the comment section below. Any questions that you want to ask us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, just hashtag talk to ringside live. Be sure to join us next week, Wednesday, 1 p.m. Melbourne local time. See you next week and all the best.